Chopper's one of the significant uh, low choppers, huh? And then flying below the skyline, three helicopters right along the river. That was wild. There was quite a buzz around last night's Pirates game, and not just because the Pirates won the game. A series of low-flying military helicopters went whizzing by in the eighth inning. In fact, the people in a lot of communities around Allegheny County have reported hearing the helicopters this week. So what exactly is going on, and why are those helicopters flying so low to the ground? John Delano has been digging further for you and got some answers for us tonight. John. Well, Julie and Stacy, you know, helicopters are not uncommon in our skies. Many local hospitals use life flight and other services to get the injured to the emergency room. But this week, many have reported low-flying choppers in all kinds of unexpected locations. Turns out, it's been planned for months. When helicopters buzzed PNC Park Tuesday night, Chuck Davidson was by the left field foul pole. We thought it was Vietnam or MASH or something, you know? <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. He was hardly alone. Yeah, there was a bunch of them. Where'd you hear them? Uh, I was at the William Penn. They were flying around up in the rooms and stuff. You can hear them running around through there. And it wasn't just in downtown Pittsburgh. Well, my friend told me she saw about, like, six helicopters riding all over the Robinson area, and she's pretty nervous about it. These choppers were flying lower than normal. The buzzing of area residences by helicopters is not something that happened right out of the blue. City officials say it's been in the works for over a year with the Department of Defense and other agencies. The whole project began last week and it's likely to end by this weekend, if not sooner. So what exactly is going on here? The planning for it has been going on for a year. It has nothing to do with current events, whether it be in Western Pennsylvania or, or the nation but it's uh, working hand-in-hand in hand with our, our federal partners. Public Safety Director Wendell Hisrich says the Defense Department is working closely with local law enforcement on tactical training, including SWAT training. It's not only SWAT. There's other, other parts of the training that is very beneficial to the, to the partners here that we're working with. Are your police officers up in these helicopters? I don't want to don't want to get into that. Public Safety Director Wendell Hisrich says the Defense Department is working closely with local law enforcement on tactical training, including SWAT training. We spent thousands of dollars to, to, for vendors to, to provide us. So that's the, that's the benefit to the city is, and, to the, uh, and to the suburban communities as well. Hisrich would not answer specific questions about the tactics but said the training at federal expense was saving local taxpayers money. We would spend thousands of dollars to, to, for vendors to, to provide us. So that's the, that's the benefit to the city is, and, to the, uh, and to the suburban communities as well. Now what's unusual this week is that the choppers are flying at night, although no later than midnight, I'm told. The public safety director said he really wants to thank the public for understanding and putting up with the inconvenience and surprise of training exercises taking place so close to their homes. And he says the more than a few defense officials in town, he won't specify how many, have been pleased with this training venue and their reception here. Assuming decent weather, these exercises in the sky will end tomorrow night. Stacy? All right, John, thanks. A restaurant